If you're looking for inspiration for your next party, then you've got to try my beef rib taquitos. Essentially, they're a Mexican spring roll. Place the coriander stalks into a baking tray with the beef ribs and sprinkle over some roughly chopped onion. In a jug, combine the stock, soy sauce and agave syrup. If you can't find agave syrup, you could use honey for this. Pour over the stock and agave mixture and the beer. Season with a little salt. Cover with some baking paper and then two pieces of foil and wrap it so it's nice and tight. Now this goes into the oven 160 degrees. And we're going to cook this for an hour and a half to two hours, then remove the foil and baking paper and cook it for a further hour and a half. Now for the avocado salsa, two tomatillos. Place the avocado into a small blender the juice and zest of one lime, one long green chilli roughly chopped, and I like to leave the seeds in, along with the coriander stalks and the leaves, and a splash of water. Give that a really good blend until it's smooth and creamy. How good do these beef ribs look? Yummo! Now I'm going to take them out of the tray and just remove the bones and see all these delicious pan juices. We're going to make a sticky glaze. So just pour this into a pan and on a medium to high heat, just allow that to bubble away until it becomes quite glossy. And now for our beef rib, we're just going to be using two forks to shred the meat so we get small little chunks. Now pour that sticky glaze over the rib meat. And just fold it through. So incredible. Okay, to assemble the taquitos, I'm going to be using some street tacos here. And we wanna add about a tablespoon of this meat to the center of each of these tortillas and roll. And to ensure they stay together, just fasten it with a toothpick. To fry the taquitos, I've just been heating up some vegetable oil, so just a shallow amount of that. And we're gonna pop them into the pan, seam side down. And we wanna give them about 30 seconds or until they're golden brown. Flip them and cook them on the other side. And they're ready. We'll take them out of the pan. Now don't forget to remove the toothpick. And now to assemble, place these taquitos onto a board just like this and drizzle over the avocado sauce. Arrange some pickled onions over the top. And finally, just to bring it all together, a really fine grating of manchego cheese. Mmm, these are absolutely delectable. Yum!